I have one last question for you. So, when I was trying to figure out what to ask you today, um, I wrote something on Twitter. Mm. And among the questions that came out that I ought to be asking you um, was tea, coffee, or something stronger? <laughs> and looking down, there's water on the table this and there's a really itself. awful cup of coffee. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what is it? Is it? Is there? You just said earlier about drinking copious tea when you're composing. Yeah, I mean, as much as I'd love to say, you know, I have a brandy at lunchtime. I mean, I have to be. Composing is really hard work. So you're not. Who? I can't remember which composer it was that that was an absinthe drinker. There was somebody who relied on his ab absinthe. <laughs> yeah. no, I can't guess, think who I that was. Who that was. I mean, <laughs> I did try. Um, with, well, when absent. I was writing my Sibelius piece, I, I wrote part of that with, with a large glass of wine because I thought it's only only well channeling only channeling Sibelius. But no, I mean I think yes. I mean I, I really I find that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I find yeah. I mean it's um, composing is really hard work, and and I and I and I don't know how anybody can get up and do it after after. A, my best days of composing come after days of just drinking water, shall we say. Anyway. <laughs> um, but you know, the great thing about being a composer is that you get to have a pre-concert glass of wine, um, which is, I think, one of the biggest benefits of not being a performer. <laughs> yeah, it's all right for some, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you very much, Cheryl, for answering all these questions. And it's my pleasure. I look forward to doing a London premiere of your amazing Bach piece yes. on, I think, is it the 9th of June? 9th of June. At the Camino. Forge in London. Fabulous, fabulous venue and really good cocktails. Yes. I may have one before the performance. <laughs> I may not. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure.